It was a cold day in Chicago, and once frosty friends, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are now joining forces to become part of Mr. Obama's national security team. President-elect Obama has chosen Clinton to become his secretary of state just months after the two were bitter rivals during the Democratic primary. During uh, campaigns or during the course of uh, election season, uh, differences get magnified. Uh, I did not ask for assurances uh, from these individuals uh, uh, that they would agree with me at all times. For Senator Clinton to get the job offer, former President Clinton had to open up his private dealings with his foundation. Senator Clinton admits that it's not going to be easy to leave her position in the Senate, but she said she's proud to work with Mr. Obama. I thought of those other Americans in our foreign and civil services working hard to promote and protect our interests around the world. And I thought of the daunting tasks ahead for our country. Obama's campaign for change will have to come through ideas because he chose to keep current Secretary of Defense Robert Gates on board to serve in his administration. The president-elect is complimentary of the job Gates is currently doing during wartime. Two years ago, he took over the Pentagon at a difficult time. He restored accountability. He won the confidence of military commanders and the trust of our brave men and women in uniform, as well as their families. He earned the respect of members of Congress on both sides of the aisle for his pragmatism and competence. Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano is Obama's choice for Homeland Security Secretary. Washington Attorney Eric Holder is the choice for Attorney General. Obama said he selected his cabinet members based on their strong personalities. Last week, Obama spent three days announcing his economic team. Now he's tackling national security in one day. The national security challenges we face are just as grave and just as urgent as our economic crisis. We are fighting two wars, our old conflicts remain unresolved, and newly assertive powers have put strains on the international system. President-elect Obama is sticking by his campaign promise to pull out U.S. combat troops out of Iraq within 16 months of his inauguration, leaving open the possibility of having some peacekeeping troops stay behind. But those troops leaving Iraq may not make it home. Mr. Obama pointed out that this war on terrorism started and needs to end in Afghanistan. And there's also a growing security problem in Southeast Asia. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Chicago.